bridging finance is expensive is 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 what you hear from from many brokers uh, over the years but i always uh, have a retort uh, and that retort is compared to what bridging finance is expensive compared to a mortgage yeah it is you can get mortgages you know at, at less than 1% or 1% per annum and bridging finance dependent on the lender um, as we've said sort of 6% for the, for the cheap cheaper end of the market which Marstoven are appearing in at the moment but there's still lenders out there at one one half percent per month so it's ten percent expensive compared to one or two percent of a mortgage yeah, of course it is absolutely it is bridging finance is expensive if you compare it to a mortgage but I always say don't compare it to a mortgage go and get a mortgage if, if, if you think bridging finance finance is expensive compared to a mortgage go and get a mortgage and then come back to me and say, well, Rich, I can't get a mortgage. That's my problem. I can't get a mortgage because um, the property is unmortgageable. You know, the, the, the mortgage company have said it needs kitchens and bathrooms and updating and modernising before we can lend on it. OK, so you can't get a mortgage. So they're rich in finances, expensive them. Um, I can't get a mortgage because my credit isn't sufficient to warrant the uh, mortgage that I'm after. OK, so you can't get a mortgage. Um, my income doesn't support getting a mortgage, whether it be self-employed, whether it be dividends or shares or whatever. So you can't get a mortgage. So don't compare bridging finance costs to that of a mortgage. It is, it's its own transaction. And to be fair, you know, as, as Alan alluded to earlier, you know, the days of 2% of per month, I mean, unfortunately, they do still exist. Some lenders do still charge that amount. But for, for the majority of lenders, and certainly the lenders, uh, you know, via MediaNet, the, the, the rates and costs are actually quite good. And certainly, when you can't get a mortgage, it's, it's a cost. So bridging finance, for me, isn't expensive. It's a transaction transactional cost that you've got to weigh up and that will either you'll either think okay yeah that transaction will cost for buying that property because it needs a kitchen and a bathroom is worthwhile to me i'm going to make enough profit or if it's to live in then i'm happy to pay that cost to purchase that property to live in so it's not expensive it's a transactional cost and you shouldn't compare it to a mortgage um, would you add to that yeah, I think I'd expand again on what, what Rich has said. So there's multiple facets, really. There's a long shadow of sin cast over bad behaviour whenever it's done. And we have to then go and unpick that with proper standards. How many unregulated bridging leaders are there in our industry? And anyone who is leading a brokerage or is a, a broker themselves will know from the number of messages, are we all performing to the same step, set standards and behaviours? No is the answer to the question. So we've got an obligation to take all of that information and communicate it to the first charge world and recognize that while we're in the same financial pool, we actually talk a completely different language. And like, as Rich has said, you've got to be able to converse in their language as much as they, because what drives them? Cost, and it's the rate. Cost and rate, 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 and that's what you hear. So you can't compare apples and pears and then say, as Rich said, well, this is too much too expensive. So well, that product isn't available. But you can't argue them down saying, well, it's not available. It's your only hope. It's all you've got. You've got to be able to explain. Actually, we're not looking at monthly transactional costs. We're looking at the overall cost. You know, as an example, you've got a client who's downsizing to a property. They bought it in 1975 for 5,000 pounds, and it's now worth half a million. And we're talking about a 10,000 pound overall cost over 12 months. Really, when you compare it to how much they've increased in value over time, is that really, in the grand scheme of things, too expensive? Can we explain to somebody, well, these lenders need to make their money over a 12-month period, rather than your bank and building society, who make considerably more over a 25-year period, especially for all those who are still on their SVR rates. So it's easy to chuck stones either side and say, well, you're expensive and you're expensive, but... There are areas where we all need to get better on, and one of them is in educating people on what the key metrics are for a bridge and recognising that what a first charge broker, the classic broker wants, is a little bit different to how it works and how we can bridge that gap in explaining the product, how it suits their needs, is how we'll increase business volumes.